sometimes on Guns and Gear, we get to play with the truly premium stuff, LWRC rifles. If you don't know them, they're really known for high quality AR-15s and AR pistols and that type of thing. They also have a new gun, the SMG, which is a short 45 carbine. So let's talk about what do you need to know about LWRC when you're ready to step up to the premium level. 90% of their stuff is made in house, made in the USA, starting with the barrels. The barrels are cold hammer forged, and these have some nice contouring to it. What does that do for you, cold hammer forged? It adds to accuracy, it adds to durability. Also, full ambi guns, all the controls ambi. I love that. Nickel boron coated bolt carrier group. That's gonna add lubricity, it's gonna add durability, and corrosion resistance. Same thing on the fire control housing. That's gonna help the trigger clean, crisp trigger. They actually x-ray it for any imperfections. So there's a lot of work, a lot of pride and craftsmanship about these guns. Now we have a couple different varieties here. Different Cerakote colors. This one's kind of this silver gray. And then you have this tan. You have different options on Cerakote and we know the advantages of Cerakote and what that does for the gun. We have a DI gun, direct impingement, and we have a piston gun. How do you choose? What's the difference? Well, let's shoot them, let's find out. One of the things that's cool about LWRC is all of their models have a California compliant version. So you have options for all the California gun owners out there. Also, the spiral flutes on this barrel, yes, they look cool, but they do a couple other things. It actually makes the barrel a little bit lighter and also it increases the surface area, which helps the barrel cool down faster. This is the direct impingement gun. And direct impingement is the system that most ARs use. It's kind of the traditional way that it was designed. A couple of the things that I wanted to point out on this, it's LWRC furniture. It's their own designed grip with some texture, some rubberized things. Also has a little compartment here. You could store batteries or tools or whatever, which I like that. The trigger guard actually is wider and it's scooped out a little bit. So if you're wearing gloves, you can get your fingers in there. It gives you a little bit more room that way. And this one, of course, has the QD attachments for slings, which we wanted to show you, which is nice. You take them on and off depending on the usage. And of course, you've got some, uh, some hand stops here. So direct impingement, what happens is the gas comes up through here and it pushes back into the bolt and pushes the bolt back to run the gun. So the gas is being pushed through here and that's the way most, uh, most ARs work. Now a piston gun uses the gas to push the piston back. So it's going to run cleaner because you don't have the gases coming back here into the gas block area. It's also going to run cooler, not as hot. Another cool thing about a piston gun is this one is an adjustable gas block. So you can adjust it depending on what you're shooting, different ammo, and especially if you're shooting suppressed, you can control how much gas is running through the gun. So it kind of, you can force it to run if all of those things are, are causing an issue or whatever it is. So it's kind of another option as far as how you run the gun. Let's run a little bit more. One thing I'm noticing on both of these is nickel boron fire control group. The, the trigger is very crisp and you can even hear it. It's very short take up. Very nice. So when you're ready to step up, LWRC.